What's up, guys? Welcome to episode 3.5. Do I have to add the 0. 0.5, do you think? I have no idea what you did it for, so. Yeah. I think we're going to subtract the 0. 0.5 after this one. We're just going to go what straight. What is the 0. 0.5? Oh, because you didn't record half an episode. Yeah. Did you release it? I'm, I'm breaking it up into just little pieces. Now you're just confusing everybody. <clears throat> I know. You're welcome, Sorry. everybody. Sorry about my voice. Thank you. Whoa. I think that was 15 seconds in. That was way too early in an episode. <laughs> like, way, way too early. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, come on. So we are back from Thanksgiving. Pat never left. Um, I went home to Denver for Thanksgiving, which brought a couple, a couple things to mind while I was there. I did not have a traditional family growing up. I had a very broken family, and... We lived a very different lifestyle. So we did not have traditional holiday things that went on. Um, I remember on occasion there was Thanksgiving. I don't know. It was usually if my mom got invited to someone else's house. Um, Who killed the turkey in your family? Whatever church was giving out the free turkeys, probably. So the church goes around and church has got, church's got a farm. Well, I don't know where the, the church. Farm. I don't know where the church gets the turkeys. I just know usually it was a box that the church or someone gave to our family or to a family to. Are so, de- so they already were dead. Yeah, already frozen. Yeah, frozen. Frozen. Yeah. All right. Like, you know, when you go get food bank food, you don't know about that. I, I've been to. Yeah, I've 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 been poor. Um, I've uh, I've done the food bank thing, but on uh, but but on Turkey Day. Mm-hmm. Usually, one person in the family goes and kills a turkey, rips his head off, shoves that. You know, no. The, you do the how thing. many times did that happen in your life? Every day, every 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 Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving you someone in your family went and actually. We go out to the farm. You pick the turkey. Uh, I out. I feel like you're telling me stories. You pick the turkey out. Uh-huh. You put it in the. Did in you the, name him? No, you put it in the cone. Mm-hmm. You know, a turkey cone is right. Where it's, it's like just their upside head down funnel. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's like a lop their cone of shame off. for dogs. Yeah, listen, you lop their head off. Okay. Right? Then you take them, you throw them in the de feather, and then they bag it up, and you take your bird home. Okay. It's kind of like cutting down your own Christmas tree, bagging your own apples. Slightly different. On th- It's, you know, it's one of those farm, I guess it's one of those farm things. You cut down a Christmas tree. Because a lot of people, go. Yeah. To, I guess, would go to the store or go to... Uh, or have an artificial tree. No, and they go to one of those places. Already a tree got them farm. Cut, they already got them cut or a, down. Or a tree lot. A lot, yeah. yeah. That's a, a lot. They already got them cut down. Like, what fun is that? You know, I used to um, I used to do criminal defense investigation for an attorney who owned most of the Christmas tree lots in Colorado. He made more money during that time than he did... Just like, degrading America? And, yeah. Yeah. Than so, they don't have, so they don't have to cut down their own tree? Yeah, he. Um, have to, if you're gonna put a tree in the other room, you have to cut it down. We have, we've cut a tree down a couple times. We bought real trees a couple times, and I'll be honest with you, we currently have an artificial tree. Um, I'm not putting up a tree this year. Kristen put it up. I don't know. I don't know if I want to do a tree in the RV. Kristen put. May it, I put the tree outside the RV? Why don't we? How about a living tree that we put outside the RV and then we put? The, and then we plant it later. Put it back somewhere. That would be just cool. borrow a tree from the woods. Well, there's a lot of tree farms around here. <laughs> I, I still don't understand timber farming around here. I have no idea what it, it's it, about. It is what it is. Anyway, so while I was home, I was thinking because Kristen and I really put in an effort to try to keep things as traditional as we can for the kids, especially during what this time. What are we time. talking about? Uh, right now, we're talking about Thanksgiving. Yeah. And traditions and how things are going. I was leading into the discussion. Um, so when we were home, we did Thanksgiving, which was a train wreck. Then Kristen set up all of the Christmas decorations with Jaden because that was her one want while we were home was to be able to decorate for Christmas with Kristen. I just, to me, and maybe it's because I'm older and I'm getting slightly jaded. I'm not really big on it anymore. I've never been big on it. I don't like. I was big on it when I was four. Right. That was it. But even like as a parent, I can tell you I've been excited when my kids were young because yeah. I was excited for the them. Holidays, yeah. The holidays it just it doesn't matter anymore. And now we're at a point where I mean my youngest is gonna turn sixteen. There's no Christmas miracle. I but mean we're talking about Thanksgiving. We're we're talking about the holidays. <laughs> are you are you with me? Yeah, but you okay. keep switching it on me. So anyway. 
I'm talking about the the traditional holiday sense. I hate that shit. You, you know hate what I hate it? about Christmas? Huh. Commercialism. Don't tell me when to buy you a fucking gift. Yeah. I'm generous 12 months out of the year. And that I bought everybody e-bikes in the middle of I can you know attest what? To just that. Christmas just Christmas. You Christmas. It's when because you know what? And sometimes I won't get someone a gift on Christmas just to be like you Christmas. I get you the day after. Yeah. But I don't why? Why? I think I get it. Spend time you know what the best about my holidays is? It like forces people to go like spend time with the family, whatever. But I don't even even know that people do that anymore. That's, I don't. I don't know what people do in the normal lives. I don't know if people do it outside the lives of me. Yeah. You know, I watch some YouTubers, whatever. But I guess that's you know, I'm doing my vlog thing now. People can see what I do in my life. But shit, I mean, people do dumb shit. You know, what else people do wake up and argue. People argue with their spouses and their. They have all this drama and this, these problems, and they just get up and they're like, "Oh, ah, like, wow, I'm so angry." Wow. Welcome, I uh, welcome Tollbooth Willie. Not interested in that. I can say we all live a very different life. We, we're very crammed into small space. We all cohabitate in. And why in do we celebrate areas. Thanksgiving? Isn't that a thing where like your the, headphones are all jacked up? Pull one side is pulled out. They're fine. It looks. I hear just. Fine. Oh God. Okay. What's wrong? What side? Like one side is actually, yeah. Oh. I kind of see. There we go. Your people set these up. Yeah, we'll talk to them. Um, uh, what, what, you just totally lost me off track now. Sorry. Um, we were talking about you. You're doing your vlog thing. Isn't Thanksgiving a negative thing? Isn't the dinner with the pilgrims and the Native Americans? Isn't that a bad thing? Don't we? Aren't we like sorry? Aren't like? Is Do it, we have to be sorry hi, about everything? Isn't his? No. Isn't history sorry about that? <laughs> Like isn't our didn't the fact we give that we, like land back because like it was like we did like not yeah. we but like you know American the pilgrim whatever did I just did I don't remember it being taught to me as like a no when we were young it was like a it, it was a Thanksgiving was the Trojan horse like when we were right? young Thanksgiving was taught as the Trojan horse n- well no it was like shake this, your hand and then shoot you in the head that's not how it was taught when I was a kid it's why more realistic I, I how do I remember it that way because. You, sir, have a strange, strange way. I remember Thanksgiving as being taught to me in history class as a Trojan-style horse in which... We invited them in for a meal. And then we, like, poisoned them and shit and, like, got under their skin and, and, and used that as a way to undermine their entire society and take their land. Is that not... I don't think that's how it was taught for the most part. I think that maybe because you have a very inquisitive mind and you're an intelligent person that you probably look deeper into it than what was being taught. And what happened on Thanksgiving own... then? Well, no, well, we know a... what the end story is. Here's right. the end story. Right. Here's, it... Here's the, I know what the end story you're was, not, right? We were not, not, they were not nice. You're not wrong. It was not a nice You're dinner. not wrong. It was Trojan horse. It was false friendship. But I think as youth, it was taught more as, hey, we, we came to this land. We found these people. These people didn't know how to do things. So we invited them in for a meal. We were trying to teach them, you know, ways of the new world. It was it was very fluffy when it was taught. Well, it didn't work out that well. No, no, it did not. I don't I, I don't know why Thanksgiving is one of the holidays that is held on the longest. I know that in in Thanksgiving, I don't see any type of uh, uh, tribute to Native Americans. It feels like there should be. Like, um, is it, like, it's just related to turkeys. Like, is it just turkeys now? Like, Thanksgiving is just, they just molded it into this Hallmark holiday it, about that's turkeys. That's all it is. It's not it's about, not, it's, it's, it's well, not. I think a, it's, it's. Like, I don't, we don't even know what Thanksgiving is, Trevor. Morphed, we're two grown adults, and we're, like, acting like two MIT students that can't answer what is a woman. Right. Well, we know what Thanksgiving. I know what a woman is. And anybody <laughs> can ask me. It is a person <clears throat> with a. F- Back to your regularly scheduled program. Um, I think most people know what the idea of can, Thanksgiving was. Can I just can I say? Can I respond to the first comment? Okay. And then someone goes, but but a woman can also be. Oh no! And then they're... but then I asked them this comment with this question: If a person has a vagina, are they a woman? If they want to be, let's assume they want to be. I'm gonna be just so a... you can say a woman has a vagina. Yes. 
You can say a woman has a penis. It wouldn't bother me. I'm not super interested in. <laughs> I'm not super interested in discussing gender roles with anybody on Earth right no now. No one cares because no I don't care. No I don't care. No one cares. Do your I don't own care. gender. You, you can identify. You're as an elephant. All of them. Great. I'm happy for you. You have an elephant. I'm. I'm just happy for you. Go elephant away over there. I just don't. I don't have it in me anymore just, for that. I like. I like movies. So if you could just make a movie about it, I may watch part of. I'll it. I'll just watch that movie. Yeah. So I think a we big know elephant. I think we know what traditionally Thanksgiving was. It was supposed to give thanks for all of the the great things that have happened in our lives over the over the last year. Yeah. Oh yeah, you go around the table. Oh, what are you this thankful, is what I'm thankful for? for? That what are was you the worst. For? That was the worst part of it ever. What happened? material bullshit are you thankful for? Hey, Aunt Aunt Lisa, what f-ing hippie shit are you gonna say? Now I think traditional families have so changed. So obvious. Um. I want to say evolved, but I don't, I don't know that that's the word I want to use. In that we do not do. I mean, Thanksgiving for me is evolved. They started with the turkey, and now we got a turducken. I mean, you could get a turducken. We had turkey. Yeah. We had regular turkey. Um, I had the shits this year. Yeah. We had A5 Wagyu the night before. I mean, it was not bad. Do you want to do a PSA on, on, no, wagyu? Go, buy, go just go buy an A5 Wagyu and eat as much as you uh, <laughs> you feel is healthy. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. It's not as much as you think. It's way less. It's way less than you think. Yeah. yeah. I don't even, like. I understand the theory behind it. I, d- I didn't know why before we talked about it before. Yeah. I ate three quarter pound of A5 Wagyu, which is essentially like 95 or 98 or whatever percent fat content. Yeah. So I just shat that out for like 48 hours. Yeah, when I talked to you on Thanksgiving, it was not, it was not good. It was whatever. Thanksgiving is what I like. I said I don't give a shit about Thanksgiving. I wasn't doing anything. Yeah, and Thanksgiving for me Just is another day with the shits. Was more of an of a reason to get my family together, and that's it for me. That's all it is. I don't care about anything else. Mm-hmm. I don't care about anybody else's tradition. I don't care about what we're supposed to do. I don't care about what we're supposed to believe. Well, yeah, you do. You do what you're supposed to do. Here comes do the family thing. How many did you get? Six. Oh, lightweight. Here we go. How many are you gonna drink? I don't know how this is gonna go, guys. Um, it's cold out. You know what? I don't drink. Just for a few no, PSA. I don't. That's drink. the thing. We don't drink. I don't consider fire. Okay, I don't. Fireball is whiskey, and I don't drink, and I don't consider fireball alcohol. I mean, yeah, it's it's alcohol, but what is it like? One percent per volume? No. Sixteen point five percent. Per volume, that, that yeah. This is just something you drink in the winter time. Like, what are we talking about now? Well, we've got to wrap up subject one at some point. Wrapped up. <laughs> Thanksgiving, love it or hate it. Let us know in the comment section. We'll uh, read them and talk about it in the next segment. You know my opinion on Thanksgiving. Big thumb, big. Finger. How do we know your opinion on Thanksgiving? You weren't here. Because I'm a fat guy and I love food. All right. Well, any excuse to eat, Harvey's in. That's insane. Um, you, we were having a conversation earlier about movies and how no new, real cool movies have come out in a long time. Interestingly, while I was flipping through my newsfeed, because my phone listens to everything we say, obviously, people were talking about AI generated journalism. Yeah. I got to thinking, why would we not? Why would AI not write better movies than humans now? Because it's not trying to rewrite everything. Every movie that we're coming out with is like a remake or a sequel. Well, or, everything AI would come up with be a remake or sequel. Someone started to put it on the internet. It wouldn't come out naturally out of a brain, right? And AI it doesn't have the ability to think of something that's never been thought of before. Right, but I think it could take tell AI to, a right, right a myriad yeah. well, of, I mean, of ideas. Yeah, I've 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 been I've written a few scripts to AI. I've used ChatGPT uh, four and three point five to write a few scripts, but and they're <clears> unique. <throat> yeah, they're great. <clears throat> they're great. I mean, they don't have like resemble. At the end of the day, it's going to put a script down, but the, it's the, you can give it to ten different directors, right? And they're all going to give a different. They're all going to look different to ten different ten different directors or screenwriters. Yeah. No, no, ten different directors after the movie's been shot, right? It'd be the same screenplay, the same thing ChatGPT shits out. Mm-hmm. You can give it ten different people, and they can shoot it ten different ways. But yeah, you can use ChatGPT 100%. Like it can say, in, 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 in term of a writer, I just t- think t- that it probably I, I, will be it would better. Take, take more things to put it in house. Yeah, for sure. Like I take, I use chat, I use AI to keep, I use AI to keep creativity more in house. Cause like I know I'm like, I'm not a great graphic artist. Like I'm great at graphics, but I'm not great at 
I'm not graphic talking about artistry? graphic art with you today. Fart you. What? I'm not what are you talking, talking about. Oh, because you got f-ing big ass ears. From Dude, AI? I ha- actually have tiny ears. I just have cauliflower ears. Yeah, yeah. well, AI <laughs> thinks you have big ass ears. Does and those- I described yeah. you as is. So you, in my eyes, you I have what? big ears. You look in the AI like you look to me in my eye. Sorry, Harvey. Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How did this work out that I look like a freak of nature? Please I look put like... a picture on the screen. For I will. Folks. There's a there's a picture. I'm not even the same ethnicity. But here's the, here's the thing. I look like. Do you remember Mad TV? Yeah, you look like the guy from Mad TV. That's funny. Yeah, as an old and version. And I didn't of... put big ears. I put cauliflower ears. Yeah. Pat you... came out looking like a action movie hero. <laughs> With and perfect, I, and perfect. I, like yeah. every every feature about you with is in proportion. Tanks. With scuba tanks on his back, <laughs> everything about you land. looks. You're like, wow, hey, that's a guy right there. I mean, there's a lot of images of me online, though. There's a lot of images of me online. Not as many as me. Well, but there's still a lot. There's tons from my fighting days, tons from my radio days. I mean, there's tons out yeah, there. Yeah, it didn't do you. It, it didn't it, do you it, a lot it, of. It justice. did me really dirty. You give you muscles. I tried to get it to slim you, me you, down. Actually, you did. You did it get gave muscles. me too many muscles, and I couldn't get it to slim me down without like. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't get yours? it to make me look not as good looking. No, I wanted to make it look realistic. Like I'm not that buff. Right. So like yours, I took probably. God, they keep giving me fat dudes for you. <laughs> and then like I, I put in like dad. I put in where's dad clothing, and so it spit out you Are looking you like about Peter. My pants? Gr- <laughs> put it, you look like Peter Griffin. <laughs> That's t- I mean, when you sent it over, I laughed. When you put it online, I was like, oh, that kind of hurts. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of hurts. And Harvey has the perfect description of his. He looks exactly like the dude in Wednesday, the dad. Yeah. yeah. Like, like if he went on a Coke binge for five days, that's what he would look like. Your feelings got hurt by my YouTube banner? No, not really hurt. I, I was, was just like, call you such a- I was like, <laughs> ouch. Um, well, it was just inter- like very interesting that you, I wonder if it, if it tips the scale because yeah, it lets me do more shit in house. Most creative people like me do more stuff in house, and but late and everyone's like, oh, it's gonna let you know everyone do. Lazy people are still gonna be stupid, lazy people. No, I'm talking non-creative, to- stupid, lazy people. AI is not gonna make you a creative genius. It's not gonna make you a mathematician. It's not gonna make you an astrologist. It's an assistant to getting you where you want to be. Do one whatever. It's just, but you gotta be careful. Because if you're stupid, AI will totally lead you in the wrong direction. And make you even more stupid. You have no f- idea what's going on in the world. My- I asked it to uh, generate MOD and P, uh, um, in my PO2 levels mm-hmm. for scuba diving. It had no f- clue. Chat GPT. It was going to no kill f- us? Yeah, it was like, don't go past 26 feet. And I'm like, that's not right at all. Not, like, that's not going to get us there. Your, no. Yeah, so so there's it with you know with, with Chat GPT. No, I, that doesn't know everything. No, my my thought was... Because it's it knows that it's creating. See, it can't know what's good looking, what's bad looking. It can't. But my thought was, if it knows it's creating, it the knows image what we call based good looking. around you. No, it no, it, it good looking is just a description. Sure. So if people put hot, awesome, good looking comments next to handsome, they next say, to oh, that a stereotypically it's good gathering looking person, information, yeah. gathering and they keep putting. And next to everyone who's fat, it calls fat, 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 and skinny, 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 skinny. Well, that's a fat person. That's a skinny person. Sure. And now if you just had AI and bots and trolls put a bunch of beautiful comments next to a bunch of overweight people, then it would just start generating overweight people as beautiful, be- whatever beautiful. Yeah. And as, that's what beautiful is now. And then tomorrow, beautiful skinny. And t- the next day, beautiful is that. And next day, beautiful is f-ing white. Next day, beautiful is black. Like it doesn't matter. Like whatever the f-ing comments are is what AI thinks is beautiful. It just Which searches, is all just troll driven anyway. It just anyways. scrubs. It just scrubs, and that's all it is. It scrubs the internet for whatever variables Personally, it's looking for. But he didn't use the word beautiful when he described us, so that's why I came out like that. Just saying, just because I, I would have just, described you as beautiful. I'm beautiful. I'm gorgeous, bro. Look um, at the comments. Be gross. <laughs> Look at the comments. You're you're bougie. I am bougie. What's the next topic on this show? Whoa, sir. Sorry. Wow. We ended up kind of off to the left of the topic, and that was, what do you think of AI generated journalism? Because that scares me, honestly. I don't. I don't have. I don't. I don't. I don't know anything about it. Well, you can. You can form I an tell, opinion based like, on write a story. AI write a story. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's gonna just read. 
AI based journalism? What like it go kind of robot go out in the field and tell the, me it's tell not, me what though. it saw? It's basically is that gathering what it is? information. What if it's that? From, what if it's that? Is well, that, that would be cool that if it actually journal? saw it. A little robot dog that goes out and does a little video, and then he's like, "I saw this." Look, I would be okay with that. Okay. What I'm That's not okay with okay. is AI generating an entire like news article based on what it thinks the war is going on in the war. What? Yeah. No. What? What are you talking about? It's happening. Where I just it was just on, on CNN right before you no right Who before you f- in. I do because it's getting stupid people bad information uh, and there's a lot of stupid people I think I think you just like like that seems like a stupid thing to pick like out of all the dumb information that stupid people can get or all the things that make people dumb in the world yeah we sit, journal AI AI because. Journal. I don't think they, they, wa- sit and they watch Jerry Springer. No, they don't. They also sit and watch whatever news channel they've been told is is the news of their party. And if we're generating stories based on AI under a, the guise of whatever that party wants them to believe, mm, it's going to constantly flood. Okay. What's the next topic? If you don't want to be here, don't be here. I want to be I'm here. I'm having a conversation. Oh, you want this topic? You talk about this AI <laughs> journalism. I think it's scary. I honestly think it's scary. I think it's boring. You think it's boring? Yeah. As a topic, I think it's boring. I just don't have anything to say about it. As a personal opinion, I'm allowed to have an opinion. I'm a third guy on this show. <laughs> oh, man. You are... This ab- guy doesn't even talk. Because <laughs> this is not a... This is not one of my topics. Oh, it's just me? It's not know. one of my topics either, know. jackass. I don't know much about AI. I'm just kidding. So. I just called you jackass just as, you know, jackass. No, I, I just don't know Madison much about AI, speak. so I don't have a lot to bring to the table. But would love to see what AI would make into a movie, because you were talking about it earlier. Would love to see what craziness. Well, we've we've seen some of it in. Uh, before I left for Thanksgiving, we shot a scene that we had no idea what we were shooting because Pat had used Chat GPT to create. Yeah, that scene. And didn't tell us what it was about. Just said, "Say this, do that," mm-hmm. and it, it actually turned out cool, even though we had no idea what the premise was. Yeah. So it has the ability. I don't know. I mean, you still have to have actors, talent. people who can who can be talent and, and do, do things the right way. The next thing, while we were in Colorado, one of the boyfriends of my daughters was talking about going to a meetup. I didn't think that was still a thing. Like a car meetup? I guess. Yeah. Yeah. The definitely. world is is still there doing yeah. doing meetups? Of course. Mm-hmm. I remember when we were in high school, we would meet at like the Dairy Queen. Everyone would go there Friday night at like 7 o'clock to discuss where everybody was going to go for the night. But these are like super organized. Yeah, bro. People have Instagrams with like set plans, times, dates. What type of Who vehicles? has that kind of time? Dude, they have they have vehicles and everything where they'll be like, it's import night. If you're not an imported vehicle, do not show up. Do not come in your 97 Honda Civic from Missouri. Where do come come in your GTR these people need R32? Another job or a different outlet. Mm-hmm. I just don't understand. I didn't I didn't get it. I tried to understand more of it. It just was yeah. It was absolutely stupid. That's still a thing, yeah. And street racing is as illegal as ever. If you get caught street racing in most of the states in the United States, you will automatically go to jail. It's not a ticket like it used to be. You will go to jail. If you street race? If you street race, you will go to jail. It's instant. You will. You hear that, Patrick? You will go to jail. Pasco, do not collect $200. Yeah, I remember that next time I'm driving my Civic. (laughs) (laughs) My idea of relaxing has changed so incredibly much. That, like, relaxing to me is where we're at now. I was going to say no scuba diving in Colorado. No, not now. <laughs> what would you, like, if you could separate for, like, three to five days to relax, what what would that be? I don't even know. I do it every day. But if, you're not helping. <laughs> do it every day. <laughs> now we do. Now we do. 
We didn't used to. I just do it every day. Two months ago, we didn't. No, no, no. But now I do. I just do it. I do it every day. This is relaxing to me. Like, I was so happy to get on. Not that I don't want to be around my kids. Not that I don't want to be around my family. But it's a million things going on all at once, everywhere. I got grandkids. They're screaming, yelling, everything. I was like, this. Yeah, the same thing. Pat told me to be gone until Saturday if I wanted to. And I just started driving back Friday afternoon. And I've been playing Valhalla in my trailer. That's like the most relaxing. We've not done a video game thing in a while. It's gonna. We're gonna have to find that. What What's coming out, Pat? GTA. Grand Theft Auto Six in twenty twenty four. This is not financial advice, but if I were you, I'd be buying stock and take to interactive. You think it's gonna be bigger than anything? Oh, they're expecting five point five billion dollars in sales. Like right off the bat, bro. it's gonna be immediate sales. Yeah, too. I was thinking burn. about buying. What's the look up the stonk real quick and see what it's at. Oh, and check out GME. What's it called? Uh, Take Two Interactive. TK2, I think, is there something. TK2I. Yeah, but GTA 5 has generated how much? No, let's see what the... So the new one's going to definitely blow that out the water. Yeah, but you got to remember that the, that the Diamond Hands and the Apes are going to be coming back for GameStop stonks. Once uh, GTA Six drops, watch Roaring Kitty roar his little that roar his little head up. One hundred fifty-seven. What? Take two interactive. Really? It was like at like at one eleven. What was it at five days ago when I went to go? When I went to go look at it. Like one twenty. Fuck me. Five days ago. The lowest it's been is in the last week. The lowest it's been is like one forty-seven. Oh, so it's been longer than that. I was looking at a month out. A month ago, it was one twenty five, one thirty, one fifty. Now What's it's the highest. It's, it's one fifty seven. This is the highest it's ever been it, right now. Yeah, it's probably not going to go down from there. I mean, it's great. I might maybe I'll just throw a couple hundred grand. That's in. not true. January twenty twenty one must have been when GTA four came out. Yeah, two ten, very short spike. No, it, it it was GTA Five, and they they or came five, out. Yeah, they came out like in twenty thirteen, dude. Like every adult and yeah. every adult that I know will be buying that game. So I think, I don't know, should I just throw a hundred grand and take two interactive stocks real quick? And if then... it jumps from one fifty seven to two ten to its all time high, which it will, I think comes... I think it would pass it. If it's gonna pass, it, if it's the biggest year, biggest biggest release of all time, that would yeah. be a twenty five percent ROI. GTA Six is gonna be twenty five percent in one year. It's not that's not bad. Well, and what it could be in two that. weeks, yeah, because it's going to spike quick. Mm-hmm. As soon as it's released, it's going to spike quick. 100%. Yeah, but it's not releasing to twenty twenty. If we're not releasing to twenty twenty four, which means they're not buying ads in December, they're buying. They're going to buy ads in January, right? Yeah, and the, and the game's not going to come out to October. It's the end of twenty twenty four. That's always. when they always come out. It's always. so pu- everything. It's, it's always I feel October. Like, I feel it's, like it's they've been talking. I'm release. I'm really late to the video game world, so I have no idea on releases. I have no no idea on any of it. It just seems like they've been talking about GTA Six for years, for longer than I've yeah. even. Oh, one cared. flub, I guess one flub of the nug, and that stock's going down. Uh, you think if it just if there's any letdown? No, not if there's any letdown. If there's any delay, like it pushes to 2025. Then it eats it, or like another big leak that does something. I mean, it could just put that could push it up. You don't know. I don't know. Stock market's like gambling. Yeah, I mean, traditionally it doesn't lose, but individual stocks lose a lot of money for people all the time. What's GameStop chugging at? GME. I'll tell you. I'm still holding GME. It's uh sixteen twenty five. Still holding, baby. What'd you buy it at? Oh, Forty eight, I think. <laughs> good hold. <laughs> good hold. <laughs> it's a real good hold. <laughs> I got fifty of those bitches. I'm holding. They may happen holding again. Strong. It may, may, what, may. Just, what are you talking about? It's gonna happen as soon as uh, Grand Theft Auto releases and every Tom, Dick, and Harry is outside of yeah, GameStop unless they yeah, release that, it on that, download. Oh, I was about to say that doesn't download. happen anymore, dude. It's, it's download. all download. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna go to a physical yeah. store. Yeah. Digital downloads. Dude. No, they should make it. So you have to go to the. Oh wait, what are you gonna do? Buy a disc? Most most. Am I gonna put this disc in? Do you go to the store to buy a USB drive? Yeah, That'd most cool. most. You have to buy five digital. things just to get the game online. Next. Yeah. 
Everything is next. Next. Next what? The fire round. The next object. <laughs> next next <subject>. topic. Jesus. <laughs> Take another Alex, shot. Alex, next topic. All right, next topic. We'll start with Patrick. Hey, start with Patrick. <laughs> what small is this trivia? Seemingly no insignificant decision made in your life has made the most massive impact. Um, to have sex. The okay. ch- child came above it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. that's pretty amazing. Yeah, I was okay, like, okay, outside appropriation or marriage. What? Okay, wait, say the question again. What seemingly small or insignificant decision that you've made has made a massive impact on your life? Don't all answer at once. Well, you said, I, was, I, thought, I thought you were asking him because I Well, I was a, looking at both of you I got a great trying answer. to think. Go I ahead. already I got, said an answer. Why do I have to give I, two all of a sudden just because my first one was good? No, because and everyone's going to say when I made a child or when I got married. Really? He can't say that. No, I, I because can't. he does. we don't know if he's got a child, and, he, and his marriage was the biggest mistake so of his great. life. All right, so I'll come up with a different one okay. if it makes Harvey? you. So my, if it makes you. Hold it, on, Harvey. If it, if it so pleases you. Okay. If it so pleases the I'm, court. I'm, I'm, I'm listening. The most insignificant thing. I decided to go pee one morning. And? I avoided an accident by like that much. You don't know that. I saw the accident happen in front of me. Who knows if I didn't if I didn't shake that extra time, I could literally have been one second in that front. That was a terrible answer. Harvey? So you. you don't my... get to decide what answers I get to be. It's a <laughs> shitty question. Right. What insignificant thing in your life? Yeah. What kind of question? Why what is this a QA? How do we come over here to talk about shit? I don't give a f- what this guy's what what an insignificant thing but, this but, guy did in his uh, life. Hey, dude, it, it, it involves you, actually. Yeah, great. You I met, took a you week met, off. Yeah, you, I you took, took a week, a week off. off. You, yeah, you met me. You took a week off, went to Vegas, got herpes. We know no, the story. No. Harvey. No, I you, took a week we're off. We're just talking about sh- we're just talking about interesting shit. I came on this show, I came to this fing RV to talk about interesting shit. Yeah, yeah you're not helping. You're really not. <laughs> I'm just, I'm helping move the topic along. Fine, you guys want to hear what, what insignificant thing that happened in Harvey's life? I apologize. <laughs> Go ahead, Harvey. It started off as insignificant and it turned up to something great. Uh, I took a week off of my job when I was working at PGT for the window company mm-hmm. to do a security job in Homestead. Ended up being that it's uh, the opportunity that opened the door for me and I'm here right now. Well, that's And I've been inseparable with you guys since. So there you go. It started off as a small, insignificant thing, never knowing what was going to show up to be. The, the, reason, yeah. the reason I asked the question is because a memory popped up on one of my social media feeds the other day where I first started training jujitsu. I weighed like 205 pounds. I was out of shape. I was eating like crap. I was just not in a good place in life. And... I was doing a radio show and I had a guest on the radio show and he challenged me that I could not survive one month of jujitsu training three times a week. He said, you'll quit in within the first week. Completely trivial. Like the, it was just like one of those, Hey, Hey things on, you know, like, like guys goading guys. It ended up being like a nine or 10 year commitment to jujitsu that really changed and shaped my life completely different. I look at things differently. I'm way more calm you know, I, I, I'm pressure is not a big thing. You know, I've survived a lot of stuff. I ended up with a really great MMA career out of it. But at the time, it was like the most insignificant conversation on a radio show that I thought could happen. And that's what I was talking about. Like an insignif- insignificant situation like that, you'd like it meant nothing. Or if I would have discarded it, it would have continued to mean nothing. But it didn't because I took, I took the opportunity or I took the bet. And then, you know, it ended up being one of the greatest things that's ever happened in my life. Ditto. <laughs> Did you say ditto? <laughs> ditto. Happened to me as well. Facts. Mm-hmm. Facts. <laughs> oh God. That that that's where the that's where the question came from, Pat. I was just I was I was thinking of how that one thing did that for me, which then Kind of like you shaking an extra time changed the trajectory of my life because you shook it and didn't get in an accident and here we are sitting today. Oh my god, that was uh, that, that extra, was that extra shake was really worth it. No, I regret it. 
because you're here now. Because he has to sit next to me during this podcast. <laughs> no, it's just being in the room at all. Uh, the the last the last topic I wanted to uh, touch on today was if you live to be a hundred, or if you could live to be two hundred, would you rather keep the body, your physical body of Who came when up you with were thirty? You or Jad GPT? <laughs> <laughs> questions. <laughs> what kind of <laughs> did you do a dream last night? <laughs> did you do LSD before the show? No, I watched the show called Al- Altered Carbon. <laughs> what the? And it made me think about this. Could get a little bit more. It could get a little more like it was. It just came out of left field, man. <laughs> I came over here to chat about shit. What do you want to, to chat? Get, do you have something else you want to f- chat about? No, I thought you to come out and talk about some. If f- cool. to, hey, if I, I came I, over here to get. I told come over here to maybe watch some f- cool videos. Maybe hear about some. Cool I don't shit. care about other and people's here, videos. You're, you're, you're just you're pressing me in these weird f- questions. Like I'm gonna. Like feel like I'm gonna. I, I just feel like I'm in a bad interview. I just want a drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! All right. No. F- you were not leaving yet. No, f- you were not going anywhere. I'm not satisfied. Now I'm done. I no, I came. I told Kristen when you guys came back today. First thing I'm I done. said. First thing I said is Trevor going to have a podcast today. She goes, No, I said because I really wanted. I've been missing doing. One. I wanted to do one. It didn't feel I wanted like to it. Sit down and I want to talk about some shit. It feels like you wanted to be you're here zero percent. You're pressing me on shit. I'm not. I'm not going to be a fake ass bitch. I'm, I'm not, not gonna asking be you to be fake. I'm, I'm not going to be able you... to be your yes man. I'm not going to. Oh, yeah. I'm not asking you to be. If a I yes don't man. like it, I'm gonna say it. <laughs> you you don't like your f- thing. I don't like your f- topics. No, that's not true. I like like two of your topics were great. We talked for a while. This f- topic's great. How your topics suck. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to hold my mat. Next f- topic. <laughs> if you don't show me a funny f- video. I just might not have a happy night. I don't like to watch stupid you other fu- people's videos. What? I don't like that's to like, me. What's the next short? Show me a funny TikTok. I don't, don't want to. I don't know watch what? TikTok. Look, look at this. I'm watching this podcast. Okay. I'm not a f- boy watching TikTok. Right. 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 So let's f- show them what f- we're all missing. Isn't that Harvey supposed to bring what's no. going on in social? I don't watch TikTok. Harvey, I have what's no going idea. On social media. I have. I have no clue other than uh, girls shaking their asses for every fucking song. That's what I watch on TikTok. Honestly. You don't know what the latest TikTok trend is. Yeah, it's a, it's a song called Surround Sound. They put their phones up on the roof, right? Like on the ceiling. And then they uh, Show it. shake their ass. Show it. Show, no, no. What? Yeah, and then the girls shake Stop their Stop going on TikTok. It's Those girls are not brain. of age. No, yeah. Oh, yeah, they are, dude. Yeah, they are. He like, likes... like He's dude. on GILF TikTok. Yeah, dude. Like I like thick-ass Latinas, bro. They're old as shit. Let me see if I can find it. This didn't get this, any better, Trevor. It didn't help. <laughs> that didn't, that You're didn't the host. <laughs> well, you know what? If I just said I want to see a funny video, y'all directed that in that day. Let's talk about big booty bitches. I didn't say let's talk about big booty bitches. I said you what's said, trending on TikTok. I should have known better than to ask Harvey because his TikTok is bitches. completely like <laughs> dialed down to only Latin girls dancing, apparently. Yes. I don't have. <laughs> You're done with that? I don't want to make a noise. It made a noise. It made a noise. <laughs> if you don't come, you better come up with another topic. Or not a question. Or this f- podcast is gonna be over. That's for. <laughs> oh man. Well, you don't like any of those topics, so let me go to an. Those weren't list. topics. Those are questions. Yeah, they're they're actually good questions to have a conversation with people about. It allows people to think about it. You know what people would rather you ask me? What? Would be tune in? What? How big is your dick? Nobody cares. <laughs> Guarantee you there's people out there that want to at least know. Yeah. Guarantee you they want to know. Well. You have to find out on OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> OnlyFans coming up next. Oh, man. You got to ask the hard-hitting questions. How big is your dick? <laughs> That's fucking pretty hard-hitting, Trevor. Hard-hitting. <laughs> No. So if I had a podcast, I'd be asking everybody, have Logan on, which, how big is your dick? I already know. I touched it. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that big. Wasn't hard either, so I don't know, you know? 
I, there's things I don't <laughs> want to know. And that, that's, ex- that's one of them, like one of the most. What? How big someone else's penis is. Who's? Anyone. I don't care. Who's, well, who's do you want to know? Not nobody. Zero people. Great. <laughs> That's a question you shouldn't ask then. How many people, how, how many people do you want to know? Everybody's. You want to know everybody's penis size? No, I don't give a shit. But if you want to tell me, I'll listen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Theo Vaughn. Who is that? You don't know who Theo Vaughn is? No. That's like one of my favorite podcasts. He's a he, he's a podcast. I don't watch podcasts. Com- like I'm on a podcast. Comedian. Uh, he let's see. Funny. He's great. Music has gone completely digital now. So th- right now, the Spotify Wrapped. Do you do Spotify? No, you only do YouTube music, right? No, I do. My wife. She does the music. She picks out the. What do you got on Spotify? They're every year at the end, like in this November, December. They everybody gets their Spotify. Wrapped. It shows yeah. what they listen to the most. The most in yeah, what's their preference in, in 2023. I just got Spotify actually this month. I've never had Spotify before in my life, but I I see the 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 pictures that people put through. Can you see the f- excitement on my face? Yeah, <laughs> I can't. I'm so excited you got Spotify, Trevor. Tell me about your f- rap sheet. Actually, I want to know what this guy's rap sheet. What are you listening to? Pull out your Spotify rap. Let's see it. I don't have a Spotify rap. Shit. Jesus, so, well, that didn't help me at all because I listen to Pandora. Pandora's still a thing. Yeah, I've been listening to them for like I guarantee 10 years. you, he leads on ads free. Mm. I mean, on ads. Do no, you pay no. for it? I, I do pay for it. No, you don't. You don't do. even pay for YouTube. I actually do pay for YouTube now. What since when? <laughs> since you made fun of me. No. <laughs> <laughs> Gave it to peer pressure. It's fourteen dollars. Gave it to peer pressure. He's like, oh, you got the peasant YouTube? I'm like, is there any other version of it? Yeah, paid YouTube. $15. <laughs> no commercials. Uh, I think every music platform you pay for has no commercials. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know you could do that with YouTube, though. You YouTube didn't? Music, I didn't know about it. You have YouTube Music. I know that they have like TV, like YouTube Red or whatever. You can watch You're it. making me red. R-E-D, red. Um, another... I want a controversial topic. Let's take callers. Could take callers. Caller one, no. Um, slightly controversial topic, and it's based on medicine. Aaron Rodgers, who's the quarterback, he was with Green Bay Packers for a long time. He's now oh, with great. the New York football. Jets. Football. I love football. It's not about I'm just football. I'm Jesus. Just, I'm, just I'm just being bitching. I know. Come on, just spit it out, champ. In the first five minutes of game one, he tore his Achilles tendon. Yeah. Which is normally like either career ending or. You know, at least a season, a season and a half before anyone is even remotely close to starting to train and come back. 91 days later, which was today, he was cleared to be released from the IR and start practice and possibly rejoin the team. So what do you do? Stem cells. It's the, it's the babies. They're great. Stem cells. Why do we not do stem cells in the United States in the same way that the rest of the world does it? People are repairing Where injuries. It comes from. I he, think it's because it requ- where it comes from I think umbilical it, cord blood. No, I think it comes need, from babies too. Like fetuses. I think I think dead babies would they need yeah, it. Dead babies. I think that's the problem. But a lot. I mean, they they get a lot of stem cells from umbilical cord blood from. Um, yeah, I don't think everyone comes from a lot of fetuses. Yeah, it comes from umbilical cord shit. Uh, yeah, you know, I don't. Uh, Why would we not? There's a block. You know, one of the presidents had a block on it. One of the. Presidents? Yeah, there's like oh. a block on you know stem cell research. It's and just, another one lifted it, another one. It, to me, who it's, knows why? Who it's knows? They don't absolutely want us to, ridiculous. Because they don't want us to live forever. Because the older we get, the more expensive we, we get. We cost. That's why China had to come out with COVID to kill all their old people because they had too many old people. <laughs> they put it's their news, not mine. Their words, not mine. Can we get that in print? It's probably out there. I'm I'm just thinking if we had stem cells as readily available in America. Like even people like myself, injuries that you can recover. You can from, you can shoot it in your shoulder. You can go down to not doc- the same, not the same kind of stem cells. Go to Mexico. Mexico. You can go to uh, the Bahamas. A lot of people go to the Bahamas. There you go. Go to the Bahamas. It's a big deal. It's just we are supposed to be one of the most no, technologically advanced suck. countries in the world. No, we suck. And we're holding back the ability. If you want to go get your hair done, you have to go to Turkey. If you want to go get your stem cells, you got to go to Mexico. If you want to go get your butt done, you got to go to Brazil. 
Boobs, you go to America. We can do tits. We can do boobs all day. We do tits. We can t- That's our thing. <laughs> We're tit guys. We're number yeah. one. It's it's just, We're the tit guys. We're not the stem cell guys. I don't know. To me, that, stu- that bothers me. No, nah, you see how stupid Americans are? That's why we don't do stem cells here. Because we lean towards boobs? Because they're so... We're like, we just, if you have good boobs, I don't care if your back is destroyed. <laughs> but what about boobs? <laughs> can, you show us, can you show me more boobs, please? I need more of that. It's just, it's so stupid. Like, there's so many advancements that have been made or can be made that we as a country now are are just standing in our own way. Is this a political podcast? No, that wasn't political at all. It's news based. What's the theme here? The theme is three guys in an RV having a conversation. About one we, of them about, not wanting uh, to join the conversation for the most part. About one of them, <laughs> what one wants to talk about? Um, I mean, if you want to bring topics to the table, I'd be just ecstatic. All right. Next time I'll bring topics. Huh? <laughs> I mean, if, if I'm going to be responsible for all the topics, it, then it's going to be the conversation that I want to have. I want to have a conversation with my friends. I want to talk about what's going on in the world. I want to talk about things I see, things I do, things that other people can relate to. That's enjoyable to me. I watch podcasts or I listen to podcasts and the ones that I listen to are honestly guys talking about what's going on. A lot of them are comedians, so it's funny. Um, but they're not they're not like this topic, this topic, this topic. We got to we got to chop through all this stuff because people don't care. They want to be entertained. They want to laugh. They want to get to know people. Well, then you better start asking me some better questions. Um, or we're going to have to start giving you some fireball earlier in the day and take your sunglasses away. Because every time you come in with the sunglasses, you come in with all kinds of angst. I'm fine, my guy. You're not. I'm good to go. I just, <laughs> I'm good to go. I just expected to come in here and get juiced. And you didn't get any juice. No, I thought you had to some juice. What's uh, juice? I mean... Like a shot girl? I don't care about all that. I don't care about... Like a, I don't know, like a go-go dancer or... I don't do. Uh, I like, mean, uh, I, like, like uh, everybody in the world. Like, are we can gonna do... prank call somebody? No, because we're, we're not crank, twelve. We're gonna crank call somebody. Let's, <laughs> let's prank call a Chinese restaurant. Everybody can fake it and do on, let's prank call. naked Come girls on, prank, prank call. It's it's let's prank we're not call 12. a Chinese restaurant and look at some tits. We're not twelve. Let's let's we're talk not. about things we're that not. are going on in the world. We're not. But I still want to look at some tits. Believe it or not. Yeah, that's you have. 23 hours, 23 and a half hours left in the day. You can look at all of them you want. Don't they want why, to, why do we got to lose an hour, though? Don't they want to see tits? We get a half an hour that we do this podcast. Oh, yeah, AI. we don't, oh, we well, don't, need, AI, to, we don't AI, need to have a deficit. Here's, boom, a, here's a, a, AI, AI talk for you, AI Pornhub. That is yeah. terrible. Have you seen it? Mm-hmm. No. What do you, how did you know it was terrible? <laughs> because how I did do- you know it was terrible? Go to, go to Reddit AI Pornhub. Mm-mm. It's not... I don't know what you look up on the internet, but it's not what I look up on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> um, I going back to AI, like I is that is that where porn's gonna go? You just type in what you want to see and it creates it and then you just watch that. Well, if you know what? If I if I want to see a sixty seven foot woman with her tits out, I can't you go, can. <laughs> can't go anywhere else but AI to see that. That's true. That's true. I, I mean, it is what it is. I can't. I guess I cannot pick and choose the AI that I want. It's either all or nothing. You get all the AI that it can do, or you get none of its benefit. Or just, I hope the, you know creators just... just blo- the creators of AI just block out the weird and gross and dumb shit. Which is hopefully... We just gave a bunch of 12-year-olds the best idea to get on chat. They had it long no, before no we started talking they about this. They had no clue until right now no. that there could be a 67-foot woman <laughs> with her tits out. And they're like, whoa, I'm so interested in this now. <laughs> Thanks, Patty Bayo. You know, you're the best. You're not connected to my Starlink, are you, in your trailer? No, I'm not. Okay. Because you know what's going to happen as soon as he goes back in his Spoiler room. alert. All AI does is put a small house next to a regular <laughs> sized woman. <laughs> Don't ruin it for him, Pat. I want to pull up Harvey's search history next week after he's. No, do it right now so he can't print it. Miss your phone real quick. No. Is your phone real quick? Hell no. There you go. You can't do it. Hell no. You're not going to go through my see, search history because I, I do watch porn. Let me see your <laughs> search history. I'm going to find my fetishes. Hell no. You have fetishes too? Hell Let me yeah. see your search history. Hell no. You, then wait a minute. Wait. He doesn't want to show his searches. There's juice. 
Dude, there's, my search history is pretty Let much. Let me see it. No, no, pretty much. Don't Good. even know. Nothing. No, either give it to me or don't. I, I, I don't want up. your. I don't want your chosen views. No, I don't want exactly. <laughs> exactly. He scrolled for two inches. No. Hey, do you okay, actually do put in search things in that you don't want people to like read? Pornhub? Yeah. Like what? If I'm looking for that, porn? you don't want people to read. No, dude, this is just my personal shit, dude. I'm not gonna. No. You what are actually, you into? What you, are you, you into, Harvey? Specific things? Harvey, what are you into? What specific things are you into, Harvey? What is it, Harvey? I've always wanted a situation with a stepmom. Well, that's on. You don't have to search it. It's everything. No, no, no I had no. a stepmom. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have. <laughs> no. I had a stepmom. She hated me. No, but but uh, I actually look for a, a certain. There's one porn star, dude. Oh, yeah. it's a particular person. Oh, you go to a person. Yeah, one person. Not a situation. No. Not like. No. Yeah, it's, it's one person. Three nice. door. One giant no, woman. No, I'm not lying. I'm not. Oh, I don't want someone to see Addison Ray on my phone. No, it's not, it's not Addison Ray, dude. I don't know who that is. Isn't that a TikToker? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, I'm just saying, Harvey. <laughs> give up your search history. <laughs> Yo you soy el gato. Give up your search history. I don't want to give up my search history. I'm okay. Are you scared? <laughs> That's Are you scared that you'll be judged? Yeah. yeah. Well, you're going to be judged. I'll give you 500 yeah. bucks. No. I'll match it. No. I'm good. You want mine? Bitch. You guys want to put 500 a piece? You can have my search history. Nope. <laughs> nope, not really. <laughs> what type of khaki shorts are new in 2023? <laughs> new khakis 2023. Best temperature for napping. Khaki, khaki <laughs> store near me. <laughs> Alexa, I'm what's the weather? <laughs> She's answering in the other room. <laughs> <laughs> she was waiting for it. She was like, "They're gonna ask the weather soon." Harvey, I'm disappointed, Harvey. Come on, I Why really am disappointed. You disappointed me, disappointed How did this turn me from being and a podcast you, all of to yours. going into my search history. Disappointed us. Fucking disappointed. <sighs> we just want to see. No, that's weird. Guys. We want to see what happens in in no. RV number three. No, no, because it's very specific too. You keep saying that, and you keep <laughs> giving times, us nothing. There's times and everything. Make it worse. There's times. Yeah, the, it, it shows worse. you a time. I I search certain things and everything. I'm well, sure yeah, it's sure. when you're taking your crap in the morning. You're like, well, I'm already sitting here. My pants are already down. No, I don't do that in the morning. Right before we're gonna do a podcast, I'm gonna take a shower. Well, there you go. There you go. <laughs> That's disgusting. And here you are wanting to look up my history. Well, I want to know what's in there. You want I, I want to know exactly what kind of freak you are. I'm a freak. Oh, I'm a freak, dude. How to waffle stomp. <laughs> I have no clue what the fuck that even is. But waffle yeah. stomping videos. That's what you probably search. Oh, you got to search that tonight. <laughs> I'm going to now. <laughs> tell me you're on your own internet. Please tell me you're on your own internet. I'm, I, I do have your Wi-Fi. You do? Mm -hmm. Get off. Changing the password tonight. I'm not having that in my search world. Not you. Not you and you're crazy. You know what? I've been actually on your Wi-Fi for like the last week since you've been I've been here. Great. Now we can just find out what he searched. Yeah. I'll just go on your Wi-Fi and I'll go on his router. <laughs> Look at his face. Look at his We're going to find out. I've been watching porn, bro. Yeah, well, I don't need the FBI coming to see me. Yeah. For what you search. I search good shit. No. No. You're a bitch. All right, guys. Well, that went left and then went right and ended with... Uh, Harvey the put me to fucking sleep. Harvey's, Harvey's a freak who won't give up the goods. Hell no. That's just weird. The fact that we were talking about this is just beyond me weird. This is night out. <laughs> <laughs> it's nighttime. <laughs> it was, that looks better with that iPod. Actually. Do you like that? Yeah, you like that view better? All right, guys. Well, we're just going to wrap up episode number three of the still unnamed... We're going to have to blurp bleep this podcast why i'm gonna go do <laughs> yeah <laughs> you said why yeah <laughs> well, we're gonna have to bleep Pitched that me into it <laughs> uh we'll be back in a couple days with brand new topics and we'll see what Better Patrick comes up with i don't know you're gonna bring a couple i'll bring we a talk couple. about something more interesting i 
Whatever's get this, whatever's get this more bitch's search history. I'm gonna. Ha- oh, oh. <laughs> I didn't mean that. I just. I'm sorry, Harvey. I'm sorry. Wait, did it hit his microphone? Hit his yeah. face. It hit my mic and then it, it hit my face. It bonk bonk. Oh, yeah. dude, it didn't hit right here. No. no. Oh, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys I, on the I next one. I meant to throw it at you. I didn't mean to hit you in the face. If it hit your mic, then exactly what I wanted to happen. Go hit my face afterwards. Yeah, it's a cloud of damage. Don't give a shit. <laughs> he can't take. He can't be responsible for things that happen after the initial contact. I didn't think that far ahead. We'll see you guys on the next one. Of the what episode of the what? The, the still unnamed podcast. The chatterbox. The only thing worse than the topic is the name. <laughs> Shut up.